You guys are the beer cart folks, aren't you? Yeah. You guys were doing such a great job yesterday. You weren't distracting to the bowlers whatsoever, but you guys were like really, really like efficient going back and forth. What are your names? Ashley. You're Ashley? And what's your name? I'm India. India? And are you guys working the event the entire time? Like you guys full-time employees? We're part-time. So will a majority of the bowlers see the two of you or? Yeah, I think so. Except for maybe on the weekdays. Yeah, mostly on weekends. You guys are weekend people. Are you guys excited about uh, having this tournament here? Have the bowlers been tipping well so far? Yeah, yeah. They have? So like if somebody comes up and orders like one of your beers there, which could you show us your selection, what we have available this year at the championships? Uh, we have Bud Light. All right. Uh, Mick Ultra, right? Yeah. And Budweiser. And Budweiser, okay. And then what, do you have like, like soft drinks? Yeah, we have Dr. Pepper, Sprite, Diet Coke, Coke. Okay, and how much, how much are the items this year? 350 for a soft drink, five for a beer. Well, that's not bad. You get 16 ounces, right? Aluminum bottle. So if somebody comes up and orders uh, just one beer, uh, do you normally get six dollars, or what do they normally give you? Yeah, six. Yeah. Okay. Have you had a team like you know? Whoa, it's gonna get loud. Have you had a Have you had a team buy an entire round to give you a bigger tip? Like, what's the best tip you've got so far? Five bucks. All right. Out of all the teams that you've seen bowling here, how, what what percentage do you think are actually drinking while they're bowling? Alcoholic beverages. Uh, half. Uh, maybe like more than half. Maybe more than half. Seventy, sixty percent. Really? Yeah. Seventy or sixty percent are actually drinking alcoholic beverages at this year's championships, but it's only day two. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay, no sales this morning. All right, well thank you very much. I'll be back in May. I run a website called InsideBowling.com, so if you get a chance, check it out. It's kind of a grassroots marketing website for bowling. We're not as big as the USBC. We don't have bowl.com, we just have Inside Bowling. Okay, thanks ladies.